Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to use the VLC library within Python. I'll use the interpreter to do this. I'm using IPython, which is basically uh, the interpreter on steroids. Let's go ahead and import VLC, and let me also import OS, just so that I can show you the, the files that I have available here. So I'll go os.lister and I'll specify the current directory, although that is the default, but I will just type it out anyways. And um, so I've got a couple of mp3 files here, so I will assign these to a variable, uh, a list variable, and now I'll be able to create a, um, a media player uh, object called song by going VLC media player and then I'm gonna pass the first song in my list and now the song ex the song object exists I can now play the song object and it is playing now but uh, you can oh there we go it just took a second to start playing so you should be able to hear it now. Um, I can also st stop the song. I can play it again, but as you can see, it starts playing from the beginning, not from where it left off. Now in order to do that, I can simply say song.pause. And it will pause, and when it continue, if I hit run pause again, it will continue where it left off. Um, there is another thing which I can do, and I can say song is playing, and you'll see that's true. And if I was to stop the song, or actually even just pause the song. I can, if I run is playing now, it'll become false. Now the other thing which I can do is I can, as long as the song is playing or paused, I can go song dot uh, get length, and that's going to give me the length of time in milliseconds of the song. I believe that that would be milliseconds. Um, and I can also do uh, get time. So that's where the song is currently. So if I unpause the song, and it's playing, and I get the time, you notice it's, it's a few seconds after. Uh, where I had paused it. Now, I can also set where the song plays. So if I go song dot set time, and if I specify, let's say, let's say uh, eighty thousand, it starts playing from that point in the song. Uh, if I, I can also set the time back to, let's say, zero, and I'll start playing from the beginning. And if I do, if I do get time, it tells me where it is currently. So let's pause it for a minute. So in order to um, stop this song, or play, I should say, in order to play a different song, I'll go song.stop, and then I'll go song equals VLC media player, and in this case, I'll say the second song, and now, if I go song.play, it'll play the second song. 
There is one other thing that I wanted to show you, and that is setting the volume. So, if I go song dot audio, and then let's say I go get volume, that'll show me what the current volume is. I can also set the volume to whatever I want and specify an argument here up to from 0 to 100 and you can see it got louder so that's that's the uh, that's the end of this video thanks for watching